Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new or if you're returning subscriber, thank you so much. My name is Kat and today I'm going to be sharing our fall 2024 home tour. I'm so excited you guys to share this with you. Um, I went for more of a French country, almost like an old world feel and I really love it. And as you can see in the back right here, this is our entryway. I always stick to neutrals. I really try to, I love the moody look of things. And I know that's really popular right now with like the burgundies and you know, all the things. I feel like I accomplished a moody feel in our home, but with neutral tones, with like different textures, layering products, like I always say, um, not overdoing it necessarily, but just layering. So I'm going to be sharing our downstairs, like I always do, our front porch, our formal living room, um, family room downstairs, and also our two dining room tables. We have one here, which is our formal dining room, and then our kitchen dining room set. Um, the kitchen, I did go a little bit more traditional as far as there's like a little bit of like the burnt orange colors in there. And I'm telling you guys, it took me a good 12 hours to decorate. I don't know, I cannot do the decorate with me videos just because I feel like I'm a little bit OCD and I I just couldn't, I couldn't feel myself doing that process. It's just probably too much pressure on myself. But I had no plan going into decorating this season, like what I exactly what I was gonna do. I do pin a lot of stuff on my Pinterest of inspiration that I like and kind of pull from that um, aspect. So if you do want to follow me on Pinterest, um, I post all my seasonal decor there. So Christmas, fall, Halloween, 4th of July, Easter, birthdays for my two boys. You guys, I do it all over there. So, and I pretty do, I pretty do, I pretty much keep up on, um, Pinterest as far as being posting new things. And also I pin all of my inspiration. So you guys could see it there too, for maybe you want inspiration for a certain holiday coming up, I start pinning stuff like months in advance. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to jump on here and say hi, since I know it's probably been a few months. I don't know when's the last video I did. Maybe it was Easter home tour. Um, so I don't jump on here as much as I should, but um, like I was saying, I'm going to be sharing all these things with you and I feel like I created a moody vibe and feel for our home without doing the trendy, you know, deep burgundies and stuff like that. And if you love it, I love it for you. I have it and I try putting some of the things up that I had years in, you know, from past years. And it just wasn't vibing with what I was going for in my head this year, what I liked. I went with more of like a French country, moody, organic feel. And like I said, when I started decorating it, it was late. I started on Friday evening and I went all the way to like four in the morning. So you guys, it was like a long process for me, but I was determined to just get it done. Today's September 1st, happy September. So I will keep up all my fall decorations, fall, I consider it fall slash Thanksgiving decorations all the way till the end of this month, probably like the last week of September. And then um, I switch over to Halloween the last week of September, and I'll be filming that for you guys too, a Halloween home tour. Um, and that gets switched out the day after Halloween. I switch out Halloween on November 1st, and then Christmas goes up the first week of November. And you know, you know how that goes. I'll be sharing all of it. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my socials down below. That's where I post like everyday living, like sales, deals. Um, I post family content, just different things to kind of keep up with me daily. Um, and then my Pinterest will be down there as well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share on what you like or what you're doing. And as I walk through, I will be sharing price points, different things where I got it from. Um, like I always say, shop intentional, shop on a budget if you can. With the coupon, a sale, like this weekend is Labor Day, um, weekend since tomorrow's Labor Day, Go out and buy your Christmas decor, your whatever you can find a deal, get it. It stretches your decor longer. You feel better about your purchase. Why pay full price for anything, right? Um, and again, shop out of season. So as soon as the season's over for like say fall, they start clearancing stuff out. Grab what you like if you like things then as well. Um, I usually do that a lot for 
after Halloween and Christmas as well. So just a few little tips I wanna share with you guys. I just wanna pop in here and say hi. Let's get this video started. Bye for now, happy fall. Okay, everyone, hi. We're starting at my front porch. Sorry, it's a little windy, so it's a little loud. So I'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible. So I kept it very simple with these two beautiful reefs on our front doors. Um, sorry, there's a truck going by. They had big, bright sunflowers on them. These are from a few years ago at Michael's. I bought, you know, at a season. I think they were like $60 each and I might've got them for like, I don't know, three or four bucks each. So um, I love the tones on this. I love the, you know, the natural looking pine cones. So I finally used these. I just tore off the sunflowers and I kept them just in case I ever want to add them back. But I really do like the neutral tones and all the layering and textures of this. And then for our doormat, I found this really cute one. It says, hello fall, something basic. You know, I don't really tend to like, um, the lettering stuff anymore, but I really thought this was cute for five bucks at the Target dollar spot. And I layered it with a, sorry, there's a glare, the gl um, Threshold um, collab with Studio McGee, I believe. I don't know what collection this was, but I did snag this a while ago also um, on Clarence at Target. I found it randomly one day. So, you know me, intentionally, I, I bought it just because I was thinking with the intention like, okay, for the upcoming holidays or it's so neutral, it could be every day, but so that's brand new. I just tore off the tag. So I thought that was a great find. I have this Hey Pumpkin sign from Michael's years ago. Also, I believe after season with um, some white pumpkins from over the years, just kind of layered in. Super easy look. Usually I do a little bit more, but let's go inside now. Okay, and like I always say, let's take a full look at everything. I know you guys aren't here in person, but I'm inviting you into our home virtually. So I'm just gonna kind of pan over the whole front living room and then we'll go through the sections. If you've never been here before, I like to do that um, just so you could get like, almost like a real feel for things versus like just zooming in and showing you little vignettes, I like to show you a whole cohesive look of our home. So this is our front entryway. And let's move in a little bit closer. And then close this front door so you guys don't hear all the cars going by. Okay, so this is our front entryway. Um, I, oh, I think I stated it before, I like to start off with our front entryway. It gives me like a kickoff point to the rest of our home. So however I end up decorating this spot, it kind of determines, um, you know, the style or the look I'm going for with my decor. So this is like my take on French country, like a moody French country fall look. And I, love it you guys i love how it's still neutral which i tend to gravitate towards naturally um and at the same time it still gives you you know the vibes of the fall season so i still feel like i'm not missing out but at the same time i don't feel like i'm everyone else and have like the same exact things which i i do like the things that other people are showing it's just that it's all looking really the same and I feel like everyone's such an individual, just, you know, put your own, like I always say, put your own twist on things. And I feel like it's just more unique that way. But um, let's start here. I did get this, this is a new bowl. So it's like a heavy, I don't know if it's like almost like a cement or ceramic. I believe it was Threshold at Target with Studio McGee, but I could be wrong. It was in that section. It was marked down like two weeks ago. So they had a whole bunch. I'm, I'm not even over exaggerating. They had about 20 bowls and they're originally 30 and they're marked down to 15. So I grabbed one and I went back like maybe three or four days later and they were all gone. So they went fast, but I thought, and then I initially thought I was gonna put, I have a pomegranate tree in our backyard. Pomegranate's back in there, but I found these old fruits that I had from Michael's years ago. 
it was Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And it had like these really cute little pears, apples and pumpkins. And I thought the pears reminded me of like, I don't know, like old world, like with this, you know, this head bust. I just thought it all kind of went together. So I just threw that in this bowl with this um, kind of like fall berry vine, vines that I found at, I believe this was from Joann's or Dollar Tree. They kind of look similar. So it might've been Dollar Tree, but I think I have some from Joann's um, as well. So I had that for years and I just stacked it on a book of a couple of restoration hardware um, catalogs. And a, a tip I wanna give you guys, I know everyone loves like the fancy coffee table books, but if you can't afford those, go on restorationhardware.com. You can sign up for their emails and you can request free catalogs. That's what I did here. And look at, they're so beautiful and neutral. You can use those year round. And you can also get inspiration from the catalogs for your own home. Um, and I just threw in these. So yeah, that's just a little tip for you guys. So moving on, I threw in this bunch here. It's like a wheat bunch or a berry bunch. I'm not too sure on a, just kind of gives it some, it gives it a little bit of elevation. So your eye moves up and also like I always say texture. And I just put it in this little glass vase back here that I found at Hobby Lobby a while ago. Um, I just have a faux candle there. And then this is where like, I believe like, I brought in like kind of the moody fills with this fall portrait. Um, it is like a hard canvas, but you can see the strokes on it. I think it's so pretty. That's from Hobby Lobby a while ago. It was a Clarence Fine. And then some candlesticks that I thought looked really pretty together. Um, the beige one is from Target and the wood one I just got at Hobby Lobby maybe a week ago. I paid like two or three dollars. I just randomly found it, it was by itself and I thought I could use that. So um, I grabbed that with some Hobby Lobby candlesticks in there and then like another faux little candle. And then I found this beautiful head bust at uh, Michael's a few weeks ago. And I was, my intentions was to use it for Halloween and possibly Christmas. So I do go with in the intention of, you know, like what else can I use this for, for multiple purposes and year round. So I think she's so beautiful. I got her, I like how she's kind of scuffed up and she looks old and vintage, but she's not. And I threw in some more of these like, almost like a wheat berry pick. Um, I believe these were from, I don't know if these were really old from Dollar Tree or maybe Michaels. Um, I feel like when you mix in a little bit more of expensive picks also with less expensive picks is like from like Dollar Tree or wherever you get them from, I feel like you can't really tell the difference. So that's what I like to do. And I just, you know, made a little vignette with some, um, a little pumpkin on the side. And I believe that pumpkin was from Joann's years ago. And some more of like the fruit kind of scattered. And then I keep these um, long stems from, I believe these were from Hobby Lobby years ago. I mean, years ago. This is my everyday vase here that sits here with, um, the stems and I just kept it because I like how it's like neutral and it looks like it's kind of like blooming not blooming for fall I don't know I just thought it went with the whole you know look of it with the gold mirror and everything I really like that and I kept it simple some neutral pillows the same baskets and blankets on the bottom so this is another view for you guys and I love it. And then here I just have a throw blanket. I believe I had this in the past few videos. It's from Target Threshold. It's just a heavy knitted blanket. This pillow is a new pillow. Um, I just got this like maybe three days ago at Kirkland's. They had a sale going on. Oh, I think it was on Friday. I got it and today's Sunday. So um, check your local Kirkland's. This one was on clearance for, I think it was like 35 and then they marked it down to the 15 and then because it's Labor Day weekend they're having additional 30% off so I got it for like $11 and it is like the choppy pillow and I feel like I can use that year-round especially for the holidays for me so let me give you a full view of the entryway and I don't want to make this video too long so 
Let me just kind of hurry up here. <laughs> I tend to like to talk a lot when I'm showing you guys my home just because I feel like um, when people just say like, oh, this is this and that's that, you don't really like, okay, well, where'd you get it from? Or how much was that? Or what made you style it like that? Like those are all the things I wanna know when I'm watching someone's video. So I'm sorry if I tend to be a little chatty, but that's just, I'm just trying to, you know, give you guys the most information on why I like to decorate or how, or, you know, the process of it. Um, but this is our dining room table. This stays the same, not dining room table, I'm sorry, our coffee table for our formal living room. Um, everything stay the same on here. This is how I keep it year round. I just loved it. I felt like it went with everything. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't want to change anything up and those are, you know, the same chairs, everything here is stayed exactly the same. So I won't go over that because that's been in, I think, a past video as well. And then this is our formal dining room. So I kept it very simple, no place settings here this year. I just wanted to do a really nice, neutral, organic looking vignette. So I feel like I achieved that with these stems from the Dollar Tree. I have bought these in years past, but I seen them again this year and I snagged about six more stems just because I love you know, the turning of the leaves, it's neutral, it looks very whimsical and very, I don't know, I, just, I feel like it just is gives you the vibes of fall, of course, um, especially early fall. And then this is a new vase I just got at Hobby Lobby um, last week. So I went when they were doing the vases, they rotate week to week. So I got it when it was 50% off. I believe I paid 12, about 12.50 for this, which I loved. I do love like, you know, the restoration hardware vases, the Etsy vases, but those could get really, really pricey. So I feel like this achieves the look for less. If you're looking for something, make sure you go to Hobby Lobby, check out their vase section and go when they're having the 50% off. I feel like it's worth your, worth your time and your money. And then here I just put like a wicker pumpkin I had years ago from Joann's. Um, this is an old table runner, I believe from um, home goods and I just love the texture I used this last year on our dining room table in the kitchen but this year I wanted to use it here because I love this leaf pattern on like this linen material because I did get this new leaf dish the other day um, from Ross for I believe it was like eight dollars so I really love this it's a heavy metal I feel like this looks really high end for the price. So they only had one and I snagged it as soon as I seen it. I just threw a couple of those like fruits in there and pumpkins kind of um, tie in the entryway over here. You'll see like little bits and pieces how I like to tie in smaller things into the bigger picture. So that's that um, small vignette here on our table. I'm going to move you over here to our this is like our everyday living room, um, fireplace and the kitchen. Before we get there, let me show you this small, it's like in between wall of, if you could hear a little feet running upstairs, my boys are home, it's Sunday. Um, in between our formal living room and our kitchen area, cause it is more like an open concept. But I did style these floating shelves here from Hobby Lobby. And again, I kept it very simple. I just put some small berries, um, berry picks, and some candles. And that picture is from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And I don't think they care anymore because I think I got that on clearance as well. But I just love how it looks like an old, you know, like a quiet old field with a, like a little river running through it. I just love that. And then I just put some candlesticks there and a glass pumpkin last year from Target. And then here it's the same year round, um, except for this little glass jars from Hearth and Hand a few years ago when they did their fall collection. It's just like some really simple berries. And I just love how that looks there. So um, it's just like I said, it's the small wall that it's in between the kitchen and our formal living room. Okay, so let me swing you guys around and I'll show you our family room and our kitchen area. Okay, you guys, this is our family room. Again, I kept it simple in here because I did a lot on the fireplace mantle this year and I love how it came out. 
um, I feel like it really ties in that country, French, French country look and really like a moody look to it. So um, everything here is pretty much the same simple wise. I just put on, you know, a frame TV on YouTube. I gave it that moody feel. Um, on our dining room, or dining, I keep on saying dining room, I'm sorry, our coffee table here, I just put a white ceramic pumpkin that we, I've had for years from Marshalls. Um, I didn't want to overdo it on like the pumpkins and everything since I kind of overdid it a little bit on the kitchen dining room table, you'll get, you guys will see. So when I like, when I know I, you know, tend to do more somewhere else, I kind of scale it back in another area so it's not like overload, if that makes sense. Um, let me walk you over here because this is a new addition. These beautiful fall, to me, they're year-round pillows, but then they work for fall because the embroidery of the leaves on it is just so beautiful. They are like that chopping material. They're so velvety soft. They almost feel like a velvet and I don't know, like a different type of texture. They're really, really soft. So if I don't keep these here year-round, um, besides obviously like Christmas or something, I will move them. But um, I was thinking for maybe my bedroom. So for my bed, I think these would look beautiful because I do have like um, like a really layered bed look on our, our bedding with pillows. So I just put these new pillows here, kept it simple with the greenery. Um, and I'm just gonna give you guys like an overview look here of this way, looking into our kitchen. So that's like, don't mind my shoes over there. I just took them off to walk across my, my rug. And then we'll go over the fireplace mantle as well. Sorry, I just bumped into my lamp. <laughs> okay, so since you guys have a full look at everything now, we'll go in and look at everything else. So it might be kind of hard to see with the window open back here. There, that's a little bit better in lighting, but for my fireplace, I really wanted a layered green look, almost like an organic green look, um, like French country. So I had these old moss pumpkins from that home store. So that was my, um, I knew I wanted to use these and I have this head bust here. So that's kind of what kicked off the look over here. And then I had these topiaries I got from the at home store during the spring season. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, my older son's in the kitchen. He's making noise. So um, I wanted to use these. So I just tied those in with some old topiaries that I had got from my mom. I initially had these topiaries years ago and then I gave them to her and then she gave them back to me. So that is also another tip. If you have family and you guys just switch out decor that always works and it's budget friendly. Um, these beautiful heavy duty candlesticks are from JC Penney's home store years ago. They are my mom. She let me use them for the holiday season and different things. So um, I'm just using those ones. She said I could use them until, you know, I don't want to use them anymore and then just give them back. But I love how this all came together. I feel like it's very organic looking and it really ties everything together. And then this garland is from Hobby Lobby. It's in their wedding section. I use these this garland for all the seasons for Halloween, fall, Easter, you name it. I feel like you could do a million different looks with that type of garland since it is a natural looking garland. But as far as these pumpkins, I love these. I like a moss and twine pumpkin and they came out with those a few years ago at that home store. And then I seen them like one year later and they haven't came back with anything like that since. And I wish they would like, different shapes or just like a whole line of something kind of like this, I would love it. Um, but yeah, so this is the fireplace mantle. Let me scoot back a little bit so you guys can get the full look. I do have the LED candles lit up there, but because the backlighting of that window open, you can't really see them, but at night it looks so beautiful. And then we'll come over here to the kitchen area. I'll kind of step back this way so you guys can see um, our bar cart here. So this is our bar cart. I like to decorate this for, you know, the Christmas season. I make it like a hot cocoa station and for Halloween, I make it like a sweet station. So you'll be seeing that one come up during Halloween. But for now, I kept it very simple. I put this beautiful wreath that I found at 
Target maybe like two years ago. And I just love it because where you hang it, it actually, you know, the branches hang upwards instead of downwards like you see on more, most reefs. And then this ribbon is connected to it. So I think that just gives it a very dainty, beautiful look to it. And hey guys, um, I just put these really pretty um, burlap like leaf stems in here. This These are from Kirkland's years and years ago. Um, they're like a burlap and a linen material and I love them. So I always pull these out during the fall season. Kept it simple here with the everyday decor that I usually keep. And then I just put some old pumpkins from Target Dollar Spot years ago. I wish they would come out with stuff like this again. I feel like nothing is exactly, I don't know, like it doesn't look as good quality or unique as it used to be. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still like Target Dollar Spot, but lately I feel like it's been a lot of misses for Target. Like they don't seem to try as hard, but. Um, okay, so moving on, we have our family dining room table. And this is where I said I went more traditional look um, with the, like the burnt oranges. I had no intention, you guys, honestly, when I was decorating this table, I was like, you know what, I just I wanna, I wanna do it all in one night. It was like three in the morning at this point and I was just pulling out stuff and I was like, let me just see if this works. And you guys, I love how it came out. Um, these were old um, leaf stems from years ago from Hobby Lobby. They used to come out there every year and this year is the first year I never, they did not bring these stems back. They're very like whimsical and whimsy. And I have about, I think four stems here. They're very long and they have a lot of leaves on them. So I feel like it gives it like a full look and you don't have to have that many. So hopefully they bring those back next year because I really I really like those and you can even paint them different colors, things like that. Um, but for the table setting, we'll start here. These are old wicker pumpkins from that home store. I think I might use these every year. I brought them out and use them as like the main focal point centerpiece um, to kind of play off this uh, Cornucopia, I just got it at Target Dollar Spot for $5, which I do think it was a good buy. I've been looking for a Cornucopia and they're kind of pricey. I used to have one years ago, a beautiful one. And I was like, oh, it's not my style anymore. I don't like it. Cause I tend to um, like to declutter a lot. So I don't remember if I sold it like on at a yard sale or something or gave it away. But so I was looking for one this year and they're very pricey cause I guess they came back in style. So I found this one just the other day at Target Dollar Spot for five bucks. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna use it or not and I snagged it and I put it here last minute and I feel like it tied in this whole table theme. Um, I just placed in some stems from the Dollar Tree this year, these like foxtails um, with these little bulb ones from, I think these were Dollar Tree as well or Michaels a few years ago, some Dollar Tree pumpkins that look more natural. And then you guys, these place settings are all Dollar Tree. Like if you could believe that, I think it looks so high end and so more bang for your buck. Um, the only thing that isn't Dollar Tree are the, the linen napkins are from Home Goods a few years ago. And then the candle ring is from Threshold um, just a few months ago. I don't know if they still carry these, but they almost look like a hammered metal. Um, but the plates are from Dollar Tree years ago. I know they come out with something a little similar this year. I don't care for the gather on it, but I still love the plate itself. So these are years old, guys, like maybe six years, if not more old. So, um, and they're not glass. They're like that hard plastic melamine. And then the plate underneath it is just beautiful. It's a neutral white pumpkin, orange pumpkin, and the leaves. So I love that. And then the charger underneath is Dollar Tree. I found these during the springtime this year at um, a store that is pretty far from me. We had to go kind of far out for one of my son's appointments. And I found it there and I grabbed a whole bunch for, during Easter. Um, it's clear and it has a beautiful gold rim. And I thought this could be for all seasons, even year round, if you like to have your table styled. Um, on the daily. So I just placed that on top. Oh, and this really pretty metallic placemat is this year from Dollar Tree. It's like a leaf shape and they did have pumpkin shapes, but I want to overdo it on the pumpkin. So I went with the leaf 
and they had a beautiful like rose gold, but I went with like a original gold because I knew kind of like where I wanted to kick off on my table set settings. I wanted to do different mixtures of fall, not just all pumpkins. So like you can see here, I have leaves, pumpkins. I got these beautiful wooden acorns. They're really heavy from Ross the other day. I found two, so I grabbed the last two. They were $5.99. I did see similar ones at Kirkland's if you're interested, but they were priced a little bit more at, I believe, $15.99. Um, they might have been a little bit bigger than this. They had two different sizes. They had almost literally look exactly the same with this brown tone with the gold wash, or they had a white washed and gray tone if you kind of like more of that farmhouse look as well. Um, but it's they're a little bit more, but you could try going because it is, like I said, Labor Day weekend. And they're running a 30% off sale. So if you're interested in something like that. And then I just put these candlesticks and candle um, holders all from Dollar Tree. I went with the black. I feel like it just made it pop since I do have a lot of black and um, accents in our house already. And these cups old from the Dollar Tree as well. So like I said, I like to do, do things on a budget, especially since I like to you know, decorate for all the seasons and kind of go all out. So here is another view of this. I think it looks beautiful. And that will bring us, and I kind of swagged it so it kind of hangs off the table, if you guys can see that. They're really long. So that brings us over here to this small vignette back here. I kept it somewhat simple this year. I found this picture um, about a year ago, maybe about a year ago. It's from Studio McGee. I love it it's like the moody vibes year round i keep this year around here now um these jars stay here this is like everyday decor so i kept that the same and all i did was um these cutting boards stay here so all i did was add this candlestick you know holder from kirkland's it's just for looks i don't light it just because it's so close obviously to the cabinets um it's just for looks here with a vase from hobby lobby and more of those foxtail stems from the dollar tree so that's how I styled that. And then moving over to like our stove area, I found this beautiful um, serving dish from Ross just last week. It was $11.99, it was the only one and I snagged it. I was hoping to find something that could go in the oven, like a baking dish, but when I went back, they were kind of gone. So um, this one had no writing saying it was a baking dish. So I'm assuming it's just a serving dish. But I loved it because of the detail. It has like the fall leaves on here. I felt like it looked different from just like a regular pumpkin shape. So I just have it hairstyled just for looks mainly. And then I know this is random, but I found these rugs at Ross that same day um, and I grabbed them. It came with a smaller one and a bigger one. I'll show you right by my sink for $12.99, you guys. And I love this print. Um, it, for me, it gives the fall vibes and neutral everyday vibes, honestly, but it has like that hint of like a gold brown uh, flower in it, which I really, really liked. And then here, I just kept a same reef that I have over on my mirror, over here on my pantry door. So I'll swing you guys this way so you guys can see everything. I'll show you my um, countertop right now, my island, what I did there. So this is how it looks if you're looking from the dining room to the living room. And we'll swing back over here just to show you this and then that'll conclude the end of the tour, you guys. I just like jumping on here and giving you guys ideas, hopefully inspiring you to like, hey, I think I have something similar like that in my stash or whatever it may be. And you know, you could do something creative with, with your home. Um, oh, let me show you before I forget, this is the larger rug here. So for $12.99 for two rugs, I thought that was an amazing deal. So I grabbed those, but this is just the small vignette I have on our um, center island. I like to keep it really, really clean. Like I said, it's just a lot going on everywhere else. I kind of keep it simple here, especially so like if the boys want to just grab a snack and jump on the counter, they don't have to move a whole bunch of stuff around. They could just sit down and eat. Um, but I found this beautiful black looking inspired vintage vase at Hobby Lobby last week. Um, I grabbed both this vase and the other vase at the same time. This one was $25.99, I believe. So I paid, I don't know, about $12.50, $13 because of tax and everything. 
um, for it and I love it. It's a, it's a pretty good size. I love that look year round again or Halloween season. I plan on styling as well. So um, these branch things that I apparently really like, the berry branches, um, these were from Michael's a few weeks ago. I grabbed these, I believe they were $9.99 for it. That's just one bundle. So it does fill out. I might go back and see if they have another bundle. And then I just filled a cloche here. I thought this was so cute. It was some old pine cones and acorns, glittered acorns. I got from Hobby Lobby years ago. It came in like in a box. So I just styled those here with, you know, um, just on a wood wooden thing. I don't know where I got that from. Um, I believe it was Home Goods. Yeah, it was Home Goods. And then just the can candle snuffer. Um, I have a candle that was gifted to me from my sister, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly, if you're watching this. It's cinnamon spice vanilla. It smells so good, you guys. Bath and Body Works sometimes could tend to give me headaches with their candles. They tend to be a little strong. This one I could burn and it doesn't give me a headache. It's like, it gives off the smell, but it's not overbearing. So I highly suggest that one. But yes, this is our home tour and I hope you guys grab some inspiration from it. I'm just gonna pan around here small. Again, if you wanna see my everyday life or things I'm posting, follow me on Instagram. I will have that down below. Also follow me on Pinterest. I, um, like I said, I post everything there as far as decoration, decorations, decorating ideas, things like that. Um, I didn't touch base, but I wanted to say, if you guys wanna see like an everyday home tour, like how I style my home every day, because I know you guys always follow, you know, follow me for the holiday home tours. Um, I would love to show you guys how I style my home everyday living. It's a little bit more simple, not as much stuff, but I think it would be interesting. If you want to see something or you're interested in that, please just comment down below and let me know. Thank you again for stopping in, and I hope your holiday fall season is full of love. Till next time. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.